Hi, Natalie. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm good. Uh, I've just come back off three days of Comic Con, so I'm kind of <laughs> exhausted. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> yes. Hold on. My, my, um, what did, oh, my theremin player went and played duets and he brought me back this <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so um, it's lovely to chat to you about, um, uh, Loki season two, and uh, I'm I'm loving the season so far. It's been amazing. And uh, how was it for you coming back into it? And uh, what were the sort of differences for you between season one and season two? Because you shot, you did a lot of season one in sort of lockdown and isolation, didn't you? So yeah, season two, I I went to LA actually and had some meetings. Went into the edit and. You know, it was like much more in person than season one. Um, and so that was really lovely. And also just, yeah, it just felt like sort of building on something that we'd already set up and enjoyed and lots of the same team back and then just getting to explore more and push things further. Yep, it was just really fun. Yeah, I mean, you, you did very much get out of the office for this one because you were actually on set as well, weren't you? For uh, yeah. the, the, the Chicago, you're, you're the accordion player, is it? In the in the umpire band in the Chicago yeah. set? How was that experience? <laughs> it was so nice because um, I got to hang out on set and um, Tom was there and, and Owen on the day that um, I was filming. And... Tom was sort of coming to the end of filming as I was like ramping up into the scoring process. And, and he was like, I just wanted to discuss with you some of the thoughts I've had about the character and the story and, you know, the journey I've been on with this season. And he gave me a book of poetry that had inspired him on this season with the T.S. Eliot uh, Four Quartet. So right. it, was, it was lovely to chat to him and he's, so thoughtful and and so intelligent about um his his work and the thinking behind how he gets into the character yeah um I, it's it's a really interesting show to uh, translate across musically as well because i mean it, it's there's so much weirdness going on <laughs> throughout the whole thing and you plus you've got all the clock stuff uh I'd, I, I'd imagine you you have a room just full of like i mean I, I know it's probably all effects but i'd love to think of you in a room just surrounded by clocks <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, they're all on. They were all recorded for season one, and they're like samples on tape, run through tape machines, which have been sort of speeded up and slowed down, and yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really interesting um, set of things that you're you're uh, finding for this. Because um, uh, did you introduce any more sort of strange instruments? Because I know you use the theremin, which is a wonderful thing to play around with uh, for this sort of stuff um for and that was in season one so uh, any other things that you brought in for season two well so charlie the theremin player had a new theremin for this season he'd ex <laughs> expanded his collection a bit and um he'd also got him a gong speaker um which which is like a, res a metallic resonator so we played around with some more weird effects on the theremin for this and we used a geiger counter um as a sort of sample of a geiger counter for the loom material because of the sort of radioactive loom um and then my <laughs> i think the main thing in season two that this sort of new sound was really choral because i'd had i'd been reading the locusana um edict Nor norse old norse poem Mm -hmm. And I wanted something sort of drawing, p pulling Loki on, like his destiny. Um, and so I recorded this Icelandic choir singing all this old Norse text, because that's the closest language we have. And we, I recorded them in Iceland at, in the Sigurós studios, Soundland studios. Right. And um, a lot of that you can hear in the soundtrack, just <laughs> like the, this sort of whispering and then um, the big, massive Viennese choir as well that I recorded doing lots of sort of orchestral um sort of more traditional choral singing as well you didn't manage to rope Tom into into actually doing anything on 
uh, in terms of singing for that. <laughs> no, <laughs> sadly, <laughs> not like season one. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, I, it's. I mean, it it is a a really great um, just mixture of music as well because you've got you know those Norse elements and and uh, I I saw some of the clips you put on Instagram of of the them performing when he finds the the Norse. Um, sort of diorama thing oh yeah the north pavilion <laughs> yes um mm -hmm. but then you've got the umpire band as well which you were playing in which i, yeah. I love that music it's great so uh, do you have i know this is like picking a child but do you have a particular favorite piece out of uh, season two definitely i think the end of episode six is my favorite like there's a few pieces there where i'm i just felt sort of like one particular piece in particular like um really just felt like a, a sort of culmination of two years work or two and a half years work and the o only able to write that because I was just so sort of into the story into the character and had developed all these themes for the last two and a half years so yeah I feel really proud of the end of episode six and I'm looking forward to people being able to hear it <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing it as well and seeing it because I with episode four at, at the moment and I have no idea where they're going after that so <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to the rest of it uh just one la last little thing uh you also worked on Obi-Wan working with John Williams uh how was that experience because I mean he's a, such a legendary composer no I, I it was funny because I think I put, someone did a petition like some silly petition after Loki season one on on Twitter that like Natalie Holt should score a Star Wars series and I'd written oh yes please and then it was like it went viral I think um and then weirdly I did get asked to score a Star Wars series <laughs> and John Williams wrote the the theme it was just mad like the last two years have, have really I feel I feel my career has you know done so much better than I could have ever imagined it would um at this point and I feel yeah just writing music that so many that means so much for characters that mean so much to people is, is a real honor and um yeah I feel very lucky to be in this position yeah it's it's a brilliant show I love the music for it um I'm look forward to seeing the rest of it and hopefully more moving forward as well than whatever else you do so uh good luck and um hopefully we'll get to talk again soon at some point oh thank you <laughs> all right